In the second edition of our profiling of the new head coaches in the America East Conference, we sit down with Hartford head coach John Gallagher to talk about the path that took him from the streets of Philadelphia to the head coaching job at Hartford. Even during his playing career at St. Joseph's, John Gallagher always knew he wanted to be a Division I head coach one day. After playing an integral role on the 2007-2008 coaching staff that helped lead Hartford to its best season in school history, first-year Hartford head men's basketball coach John Gallagher spent the past couple seasons as an assistant at Penn. Just when it looked like he was set to join the staff at Boston College, Gallagher received the call from Hartford and was given a chance at his first head coaching opportunity. High school coach Bud Gardler had a great effect on me, uh, as he did a lot of coaches. Gino Ariema, Steve Donahue, uh, Sean Carney, to name a few. So, um, I think it was the way he was with you, and uh, he sort of ran the high school program like a college program. So, uh, he had the best, the most influence on me. And then my... Uh, college days, the way Coach Martelli was and still is to this day, just a great mentor and uh, someone that really cares about people. Um, both of those men, you know, those, that high school and college experience really propelled me to, to wanting me to be a college coach. <laughs> um, no, on a serious note, um, the day-to-day -day getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, weightlifting, training, running a mile, constant basis, just the daily, that grind of 12 months a year has prepared me to understand sometimes, you know, players may not have the energy level you need, you may have to cut back, uh, it's not like you can just do the same thing or have some monotony, um, and Coach Martelli taught me a great deal about that balance, uh, so I owe him a lot there. Well, first off, uh, the conference itself is a great conference, winning on the road is extremely hard um, and the coaches in this conference um, are some of the best in the country so the, the opportunity to have a job in this conference um, is just phenomenal and I appreciate every day um, and knowing that it's a process um, coming back to Hartford knowing the athletic director Pat Miser and the president uh, Walt Harrison that they understand the process um, they're not always looking for the result. They understand it's going to take time. And when you build something, it's not a, you can't have quick fixes. You gotta, have, you gotta build something for the duration. And to be working for people that understand that is the joy of it. You know, there's no, you know, can we gotta win now, we gotta win now. We have to get better every day and embrace the process, not the results. Yeah, being a pen, the plester, and uh, Coach Allen, just a great place. So leaving there, you know, definitely had, um, you know, I got along with those guys so well. And then the opportunity to work for Coach Donahue, Cardinal Higher grad, um, someone that I've known for, since I was 15. Just the opportunity there, um, was just, I was really excited about it. And then eight days later, a phone call happens. And, um, you know, this is my home, Hartford is. Uh, from Philadelphia, but I consider Hartford a place you know, I've been here. I love the people. I love the community. Uh, I just think it's a wonderful place. Uh, and I do love Philly, but th this feels really, this is my home. Uh, I'm from Hartford now, and, and it's a great, great place. And I just love building every day. You know, I know our record doesn't is great right now, but I love the foundation that we're building. I think the players, the seniors, they really know me, and then the, the athletic department and the president and the vice presidents, they understand we have a relationship. It's not something that's foreign. I know what they're all about, and uh, not, not only do I like it, I love it. You know, I love having that relationship. Knowing that what we have to do, they know it's going to take time, but they're willing, well, not willing, but they understand that it's just a process and having that advantage um, you know for my staff myself the players we know what every day is about it's just about building uh, and the foundation is something that they meaning Pat and Walt they really understand it and they sort of quote unquote get it so for your first head coaching job it's just a 
you're working with people to get a, a goal done, not sort of for them. And they give you that feel um, and the community itself being here. Um, it's just that there's a great excitement. Even though we haven't won as many games, there's still that excitement. So we're really, as a staff, blessed to be here.